So one important thing I need you guys to have, be ready with, is um, a bottle of water. Not too cool, not too hot. But, um, preferably medium. So you don't get dehydrated. But regardless, we shouldn't be getting dehydrated because these are low impact um, aerobics we're gonna do. Okay. Also have a, a towel ready. Sometimes it's your backup plan, you know, for the little bit of sweat you might, you know, produce. But you should be fine. Um, again, your shoes, make sure they're comfortable. You know, these are the ones I'm using. You can use these, whatever is more comfortable. But let's get started right away. Okay? Now, um, let's practice this walking slowly back and forth. It's very simple, okay? And to keep you from getting bored, your music. Utilize your favorite music. I'm utilizing some freestyle music here. Hopefully you can hear it, but, you know, something that keeps your spirit flowing. You know, this is about you, your body getting in shape, your hair going longer. This is all connected to your physical, mystical hair name, most ladies. So don't take the exercise with Shima to you slightly because it's all connected. Everything I teach you is all connected to your fairy tale hair name. Okay? Alright. So, just walk back and forth just to get started. You know, do your little sexy walk and make sure you're walking. Hopefully you have more space in your bedroom. But regardless, this should be outside. But if you happen to to be in, you know, you can't go outside for whatever reason, you do what I do, okay? For beginners, we're going to be doing this for the next, let me say, let's do it for five minutes for beginners, you know, just to condition that brain to start exercising, okay? Then the next day, do it for another five minutes, and the third day, do it ten minutes, then the fourth, fifteen minutes, and there. You have conditioned your brain to exercise, all right? I could walk this one and I've got a little bit more space. Okay. So once you reach the end of the room, you literally just stick your toe out and like just tap the floor. Like that's the end of that angle in order to walk. Okay. Tap. Back. Front. Alright, your arms are moving at all times. Don't walk like this, you know. You have to get that energy moving. Okay? Now, look slowly, very low impact, as I said, but as you get into it, you will be speeding this up a little. Just a little. Okay? So remember to control your doctor. You can do this and touch the same leg with the same arm on the side. But try to do it the opposite way, you know. Lift the opposite leg and touch it with your elbow with the opposite arm. Okay? One. Alright. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now with that, let's try the other one. The leg goes back. The leg lifts up and you touch it with your elbow. With the opposite arm. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Repeat about five times for beginners, okay? Alright. I can see you just doing that. Go, girls. Go, my little girls. Alright. And keep the legs moving at all times, okay? Arms moving, legs moving. Arms moving, legs moving. Alright. Lift your legs slightly up. Just slightly. But I don't want you to get too tired too fast. Don't do this. Not yet anyway. Don't do that. Okay? Just do like this slightly. Just at your pace. At your comfort. Go. Walk front. Walk back. Walk front. Walk back. Okay. And then just combine what I taught you. Opposite leg. Opposite arm. 
opposite leg, opposite arm. All right. And if you don't get to touch all your, of your elbow, that's okay. You will get to touch it soon enough. If you keep it up. Also, move from side to side. Hold on, let me move back. Always keep the legs moving. Always keep the legs moving, side to side. And at the same time, you'll be mentally dancing. Don't actually dance, just do what I'm doing. But to enjoy the music, okay? Now, we're gonna touch the floor with, the, with our toes, you know. We're going to do this. We're going to point it for touch, okay? Walk in place. Do that, okay? Just stretch the leg out and do that. Right? Touch, touch. Me and you. Woo! Yeah! It's fun getting to shake. Getting that long, gorgeous, healthy hair. Yeah, just tell yourself that. Keep inspiring yourself mentally, ladies. Remind yourself why you're exercising, okay? It's not work, okay? Don't look at it as work. Look at it as something that's going to get you to the next level. Alright. Side to side, side to side. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Right after my heart rate going up. One way you can feel your heart rate going up, you can take the two, your two index, your two fingers, the index one and in the, in the first one, and just touch um, right where the little um, opening of your neck is, and you can feel, you can feel that vein pumping. Okay, if your heart's pumping too fast, go down. Your body tells you, okay? If you happen to get tired, don't stop completely. Just little baby steps. Little baby steps until your heart rate goes down. And drink your little bit of water. Drink it slowly, okay? Don't, don't shock your heart with all that water. So drink slowly. Alright, so let's just pretend the 15 minutes are up, or your 5 minutes are up, so we'll just stop abruptly. The baby step, baby step, baby step, baby step. And then what Shima used to do was stretch all over again. So, I literally put my legs slightly apart like I used to, and then go like this. Bring through the nose, pinky. Arms up, riding up, and riding back down. The knees going down slightly. Okay, then reach up. But the tag is faster because the body is already, um, you know, so energized. I feel like I could keep going, you know, dancing even. This is all to get the heart rate to go back down to its normal rate. Okay. Now one other thing that's for intermediate and advanced, what I used to also do was the stepping a little bit. What with the step. Okay. Um, I don't have no step, but regardless I used to do it. And you will position your body this way. You will bend your knee down. This is also a good stretching exercise. But in this case, both my arms will be pointed straight. A little bit so you can the fingers pointed straight. And this leg will go up, all the way up. And then back down. Arms position again. So how they how they are in parallel position, then the legs go back up. Go back down. Up. Back down. 
Now this exercises all your hamstring, all your quadriceps, and it's also a great part of basketball. All right, ladies. Um, basically, that's it for this part. I'll be back to you all to do with more exercises to show you. I want you to get in shape. I want your hair to look as beautiful and nice as possible. And exercising ties into that, okay? So don't take it lightly, remember. Uh, you want to be a true Shima girl, you want to be a well-rounded Shima girl. So if I have to exercise, you're going to exercise too. No diggity, no stop. <laughs> okay, ladies. See you next time.